guys. All right, we're doing yet another cooking video. This is roast beef, and it is how I grew up, um, my mother making it. I have no idea where she got the recipe from or, you know, if it just popped into her head, but it is so delicious, and it is so simple. It's three ingredients, not including the roast. So I have a four-pound um, top round roast beef here, and to that, I'm going to add a half a cup of vegetable oil and I just kind of want to pour it you know over the roast and I know this seems like a lot of oil but this is gonna be this is gonna be part of the juice that you're gonna get for, at the end from the roast okay so now oh, you know what I need this still because I'm measuring for you guys I don't ever normally measure but just for your sake I'm measuring and we have got a quarter, if I can see it, almost a quarter of a cup of soy sauce. Okay, and this is just regular soy sauce. It's not reduced sodium or anything like that. We're gonna pour that over, okay? Let me put this in the sink. Now, we're going to take garlic powder and we are just gonna cover this in a nice layer of garlic powder and we do want to get some in the juice as well what's going to be the juice that you can pour over the meat now I'm just gonna pick this up on its side a little bit so I can get the front with some garlic powder as well I mean I really don't have a measurement for the garlic powder it is kind of just depends on the size of your roast and how much it takes to give it a good covering but I would say that's good for this four pound roast now just give me one minute so I can wash off my hands. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pop this in the oven at 425 degrees for 15 minutes. Then if you want your roast medium rare to medium, um, this one should cook pretty evenly because it's the same thickness throughout the whole roast, but I have gotten ones that taper off at the end. So what happens there then is, is the end that's tapered is going to be cooked a little bit more than the thicker part. Um, this should cook fairly evenly because it's nice and thick and even. Um, 20 minutes per pound for medium rare to medium. Uh, this one should come out medium rare. If you really have to have it medium rare, cook it 15 minutes per pound because if it's, when you cut it, if it's not done enough, you can just throw it back in for a couple of more minutes and you, you can't uncook it if you cook it too much. Also, one of the handiest tools to have in the kitchen, honestly, is a meat thermometer. I mean, you can't go wrong if you just stick a meat thermometer in it. Um, I've gotten pretty good at cooking the steaks just by time-wise. So yeah, this is gonna go in the oven now, 15 minutes at 425, then we're gonna bump the oven down in temperature to 350 and you want to take that 15 minutes and subtract it from, so this is a four pound roast, right? So we're going to cook it for a total of hour, an hour and 20 minutes. Alrighty. So we're going to take that 15 minutes and when my timer goes off, I know that I only have to cook it now for an hour and five minutes. All right. But you guys, this comes out so good. And, um, you know, if you try it, let me know what you think. I'm really curious. Um, but I will show you after it's done cooking uh, what it looks like when I cut it. As always, thank you for watching, guys. Bye. Okay. All right, guys, it's done. As you can see, it's been resting for 15 minutes, and now we're going to carve into it, and I want to show you guys what it looks like. And I have paper towels up here because it likes to juice a bit, even after it's rested. And I can show you guys... Beautiful, medium to medium rare. It's a little, it's the end, so the middle should be a little bit more, but I'll turn it around and you can see what it looks like. Panning on the juice for them. This is what the juice turned out to. So like I said, I know it seems like a lot of oil and everything, but now you have this awesome kind of little gravy juice to dip the beef in. All right, that's it. You saw how simple this was to make three ingredient roast beef. All right, thanks for watching. See you guys later.